I'm Spencer Van Wyck, I'm 20 years old, I live in Pelham, Ontario, and I go to Niagara College. I'm a film student. I've been acting my entire life. Uh, my first acting role, I don't quite remember because I was about one years old. But then slowly I started getting um, some more roles in like, different TV shows or different movies. Not, nothing really big until about, uh, to be honest I don't remember the year, but uh, I started, I was in this film called Never Cry Werewolf with uh, Nina Dobrev and Kevin Sorbo. That was, I thought that was really cool. And uh, it, was, it was cool. It was my first real acting experience like on set with the same crew every day. I think we took about two weeks to film that. That was back in high school. After that, I got an audition for Degrassi, which was really cool because uh, the funny story about Degrassi was I, it was I auditioned in Toronto and then as I was driving back, as soon as I get back in my driveway, I get a call from my agent. And they're like, you booked the role already. I was like, I just auditioned like two hours ago. How did I get the role already? I don't know how it happened, but it did. And that was such an amazing experience. It was so much fun. It, and it was because of the people. One of the cooler things about Degrassi was that we really try to make a difference. It's not just like we go in to do a job. We actually, we realize how popular the show is getting. We want to put out a good, we want to be good role models. So we've, we, uh, we team up with this organization called Free the Children. And uh, each year we go on trips to third world countries and we try to build a school or make a difference or build a playground. So um, I've gone on two trips with them, one to Haiti and one to Ghana. As I was just, I was just doing my thing and then one day I get this email from this girl named Kate and she's saying she has a script that she wants to turn into a movie and she wants, she's trying to pitch me a script. And I read it, I think it's amazing, I love the character and everything. But uh, also in the email she talked about how she used to write for Degrassi and she doesn't anymore, but she actually wrote my character Wesley. After it was made, we, found, I, we find out like five months later, uh, it was accepted into TIFF. So I got to do the Toronto International Film Festival for a weekend. It was amazing. I started DJing because my friend uh, worked at a DJ company called Spirit of Sound. And every time I hung out with her, she would just, I would just always ask her questions about DJing and stuff. And she finally kind of realized how passionate I was about it. And she found out her job was opening. And I was like, okay, I definitely, I threw in a resume right away. I applied and I went in for an, uh, for an interview. That's what they're called. Um, so I went in for an interview at Spirit of Sound. They really liked me. I think they saw how much passion I had to learn about DJing. I went into this job not knowing anything about DJing. And uh, they, they hired me and they taught me on the job. And then I, I love DJing. I think it's so much fun being able to be in control of the entire environment of the night. I feel that's really important. The first time, uh, my first DJ experience was at a wedding. So that was really nervous. I was very nervous because I felt like I had a big responsibility. I didn't want to screw up. But uh, everyone really enjoyed us that night. It was really fun. But uh, now I'm just, I feel a lot of that stress is gone. I just feel more natural about it. Um, but I don't know if I want, it's right now, I feel I'm not super good to go professional. But it's something I just like playing in the basement or a few friends over, then I'll just like DJ for them or something. But uh, I don't know if I want to invest like a lot of time, effort, and money into turning that into a career right now. So I don't know. I feel that right now things are good, and I, I'm just happy with my life. You know, I feel I feel things are going to be good.